Sydney Smith Hicks grew up water skiing in Minnesota and studied economics at Cornell College in Iowa. That is where I met my husband. He tells the story that I'm the one in the back that was asking all the questions and delaying him to get to the next class. I'd tried to get a job in a bank in St. Louis and they didn't hire women except as key punchers and secretaries and I wanted to start in the trust department. I decided that I needed to get an, an advanced degree to be able to be taken seriously in the business world. So I decided that I, this was the time I needed to finish the PhD so that nobody could ever say I wasn't qualified for the job that I wanted. My dissertation committee was composed of Lawrence Meyer as chairman, Bob Parks, who just was huge in helping me get the econometrics done on the university's computers. Sydney didn't need motivation. Uh, and I think part of that was she was testing the water. She was trying to see whether she really wanted to do this and quickly got into it and was a very good student. Larry was key, his framework for understanding and modeling just fit into my thinking about how I wanted to learn everything I could learn about macroeconomics. When I was informed that I defended adequately, that's actually when I walked into the office that Ed Greenberg's secretary said to me, well, you're the first woman that's ever gotten a PhD from Washington University in economics. I'm going, no way, I didn't know that. Dr. Hicks went on to teach at Florida State University and served as a financial economist at the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. From there, she served in several prominent roles at large banks and developed expertise in innovative banking software. I was the bank's money market economist, became a registered trader and traded the bond position. From banking, I went to become a director of marketing, interestingly, for a software company that produced the automation systems for the back office of the big banks. And from there, I ended up becoming CEO of the company. Again, that structure of learning from Washington University was pivotal. I have not known any other graduate student as long or as well as I know Sydney. So I've had to be an observer, to sit back and watch from the very beginning. It's, it's pretty remarkable, actually. Never in a million years would have predicted where she would have ended up. Dr. Hicks serves as an advisory to Washington University's Department of Economics and has provided guest lecturers for the Wiedenbaum Center on the Economy, Government, and Public Policy. When people look at my career and they go, you went from academic, full-time research, to CEO of a software company, to a, an entrepreneur, how does that all work? She was prepared to take advantage of the diversity of directions that economists can go in. I think what distinguishes her is that she taught, she worked at the Dallas Fed, she worked into operational positions at the bank, and from there, she became a true entrepreneur. I'd like to, of course, thank my family who supported me through everything. I owe an incredible debt to them. And I've lived through, so far, a career that's been characterized by substantial change and innovation. And it's those people that could think outside the box when they looked at my skill set to imagine that I could contribute, and I'm very thankful. I'm proud of what a success she's been. She can look back on her career with a lot of satisfaction. And I think she was doing different things, but every stage she had fun. Every stage she saw fulfillment. Every stage she saw success. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the university for changing the trajectory of my career to one that has been extraordinarily rewarding for me.